report says illegal drugs killed 160 American GIs last year, 40 of them in Vietnam. Drugs were still... One dog, man! One dog over the line! Knocked down at a railway station! One dog over the line! You want to talk, you poor fool? Sweet, sweet Mary! Where do you see those goddamn bats, man? Dead and whiskers on kittens, bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens, brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my We were somewhere around Barstow, on the edge of the desert, when the drugs began to take hold. I want me to go to Las Vegas and talk to you. I'm going to go to Las Vegas and talk to you. I'm going to go to Las Vegas and talk to you. I'm going to go to Las Vegas and talk to you. Oh, man. Are you returning our bus? You just went to a very fast car with no car. Fantastic, no? Well, 
Riley, but if you don't let up, I want you to throw that pretty radio into the jump with you. Fuck you going completely sideways now. Let me blast you right through the wall. You'll be stone dead in ten seconds. No explanation, no mix of words or music or memories can touch that sense of knowing that you were there and alive in that corner of time in the world, whatever it meant. There was madness in any direction, at any hour, you could strike sparks anywhere. There was a fantastic universal sense that whatever we were doing was right, that we were winning. And that, I think, was the handle. That sense of inevitable victory over the forces of old and evil. Not in any mean or military sense. We didn't need that. Our energy would simply prevail. We had all the momentum. We were riding the crest of a high and beautiful wave. So now, less than five years later, you can go up on a steep hill in Las Vegas and look west. And with the right kind of eyes, you can almost see the high water mark. That place where the wave finally broke. 